Hi Susan, thanks so much for asking me to take a look at your videos. You wanted me to focus on how you could add some intensity to your handling and also to give you any advice on what I see as your strengths and weaknesses. So I chose some of the courses you provided me and took little segments out that I thought illustrated some common things I was seeing and then, then at the end we'll take a look at the full course you ran recently and see uh, what's up there. So uh, in general I like that you're running with Moon um, from the start, it does put a little more oomph into the run. Uh, interestingly, this uh, course here, I would have, I think you would have benefited by taking a bit of a lead out. Um, and here's one of the things I wanted to talk to you about, is I'm glad you went for a front cross here. As we look at your other videos, um, I saw places where you seem to defer to the rear, probably a little more frequently than you needed to. Um, here's a case though where your frost, your cross was pretty well placed, but I would have liked to have seen you get it done a little sooner. And had you gotten a little bit more of a lead out, I think you would have been in a good spot. You two are pretty much close together there, and I think we it would have been good to have you uh, get out of there a little sooner. Here you come up for the rear. That's a place where I think you were back here at the tunnel you had a chance you could have crossed it at any of these would have even urged you to really go for it and go for a blind in there before the tunnel it's not really needed by this course but you're talking about intensity and one of the ways to do that is to really um, challenge yourself to get to a certain place and execute a certain uh, maneuver here it would have put you a little bit ahead and you wouldn't have had to wait for that rear cross you could have been right up here when moon came out into the weaves. But again on this course it's not as as critical. So let's keep going here. Uh, you know I like that you're ahead urging Moon on. You get up here and then this was a little strange. Here you you're on a straight line through here and you chose to put the cross on the middle jump and really what I think you want to do is get in there and actually get the cross where the turn is, right? This is the turn in the course here. So if we back up a little bit here, um, another way to think about this is um, typically you put the cross on one side or the other of the inflection point or the change of uh, course path. So here we have a curve coming into this middle jump and then we have uh, a curve in the opposite direction coming off of that jump. So as a handler you can cross um, let's get another color in here, you could put your cross in before the inflection point or after the inflection point and typically it's a front on the on the approach or a rear on the landing although that's not a hard and fast rule that's just a rule of thumb some people use. So on this guy I would have um, if you want to be more intense, add some more energy to this, I would have urged you to, you should be cutting across, get your front cross on the landing of the yellow, so you can stay on the inside for the finish. Um, otherwise, if you couldn't really get there, um, you can take, you could run the course as you did, but then your rear is on the takeoff of the yellow jump, of the, I think it's a yellowish jump out there, um, to get the turn. But um, So that's a kind of a handling decision I, I would have challenged you to really go for that front cross that would have put some more effort in, picked your speed up, and also shown Moon a little uh, clearer line. So then we get, you can see Moon correctly turned into you and you had to push hard back because Moon thought with that rear cross that a turn was happening. And then away to the finish. So let's look at this course here. It's in a, another Jumpers and Weaves course. Let's get through you're up to the weaves in here. You're coming in for a front cross and you're pretty deep on the line. And the main thing I would have you do is you know, let me back this up a bit. Get this lady's head out of the way. So I talk about the front cross line um, a lot in handling. And basically it's a Dana thing I learned from Dana Pike. It's hard on this drawing, but basically you want to be on the side of the road if you can do a front cross. So that would be from the inside edge of that red jump to the inside ed edge of the tunnel. You want to be on that line and you actually 
are on that line right now, except you're looking at your dog and you're not rotated towards the new obstacle. So Moon is coming in jumping, but you're backing up and giving the road. So you're actually, by moving backwards, you're cueing uh, Moon's, uh, a little bit of extension of Moon towards the opposite, uh, towards the off-course tunnel. So I would have had you get up there, get into position sooner, get rotated sooner, and really um, uh, get Moon's head to get a little tighter uh, front cross in there. So then I think we go on, and here you are ahead, which always makes me happy, and you bailed. This is definitely a great front cross opportunity here, and you kind of did this little pull in to an across the feet rear cross, and if you want to add more intensity to this, I, I think you wanted to go for that front cross. So I definitely would have urged you strongly to come in, get that front cross, it would have made a much nicer line, and given put Moon on your left automatically, instead of going to the send, pull back, rear cross. Uh, that you ended up doing in there. So you can see, you can see, you really had to slow down, really slow the moon down. Had you just raced in there for that front cross, you would have been in good shape. It would have been great. And that was an okay, oh, I want to go back to that. That's an okay rear here. Um, if you really were going for it, I would have had you uh, go from front cross here to get across to this front cross. So you have moon on your right coming through the end here and not wait on that rear cross. But you're, you're pretty smooth, and you're obviously very comfortable with the rear cross, so I wouldn't completely mix up your handling. Um, but that is an area where you want to get more comfortable and really go for getting those front crosses. That's going to make a huge difference. So here I like you showed some pretty good speed. You ran around there. But here you did your pull to rear cross again. And I, I would try to ban that from your repertoire, or at least temporarily. Because this is a classic front cross possibility. If you had a little, if you had gone for it, you could have been on the other side, get your front cross, and just pulled off through here and had Moon on your right through the through this section, as opposed to you now you're putting yourself behind to do a rear cross on the landing, when what you really wanted was to get in there and do a front cross, and then you could have just pulled Moon around and would have been nice, a really uh, a little bit quicker run, I think. So this is the course you actually wanted me to look at. You got put yourself a little behind there, but with Moon's, I love the parking, with Moon's um, dog walk there, you um, caught up and got ahead again. I'm always going to urge people um, to get ahead. Here you're coming to, to do um, double tunnel, and it's conceivable you could have gotten in there for a front cross. This course actually wasn't a... Uh, didn't have a lot of opportunities to change your handling because um, it's a it's a reasonable place to use the rear. But I would have you know if you're really looking to go for it, I would have gone for the front. I like this front here. You could have done it a little faster, a little more uh, snap, as I would say to that. And love the barking, love the barking. That's exciting. Okay, we're off to the weaves. And through here, I like how you got ahead for that one, and then you did a shoulder pull over uh, from the wing into the tunnel. It's in the realm of possible things. Like I said, this course didn't have a lot of opportunities to, to change things. If you were really looking to go for it, you could have looked at a blind here, or just a straight, uh, just a rear cross on the takeoff on the approach to the A-frame, which would put Moon on your uh, right coming into that wing. And if you could really run that line, you could have gone for a front cross before the between the wing and the tunnel. The spacing looks pretty tight, so I think that was, you know, that'd be kind of a pipe dream. But uh, it's something I really want you to think about when you're or running these courses is why always default to the rear? You want to think about getting the front. It's a nice blind cross there. I like that a lot. It got you in a good spot, and then you're off to the uh, final jump. So all in all, I think you guys are a nice, smooth-running team. Um, to get that intensity in there, I want you to really challenge yourself to get to some spots 
and it looks to me like those spots are likely front crosses that you're consciously or unconsciously avoiding and uh, hope that helps you out and I'd love to get some feedback from you as well. Good luck.